Hey there YouTube, CJ is here with another clear tutorial video. This one is on the 5 man slash main tank raid heal spec. Um, this is okay for non Storm Legion owners or free to play owners because it does not require any Storm Legion souls. So that is very nice for really anybody. Um, yes, CJ's is now a woman. I had changed that as of last night. Um, so that said, I'm going to go over macros, um, rotation, all that good stuff, buffs. Um, I do apologize for video quality. I'm still searching for a new recorder, but as of now, I don't have time. So for the build, which is right here, the soul tree, you can find this by clicking player, soul tree. Um, so we have a 61 sentinel. The zero win warden for a hot that you're not going to be using. Um, and then 15 in purifier. Uh, we're using purifier for multiple things. We got a buff, another buff, uh, insta heal, a shield, all kinds of good stuff in this one. And uh, increases our heals by every point we put in purifier. So another 15% from that. Um, just in case you can't see the numbers on where the points are spent here, um, it's 5 out of 5 in spiritual guidance which is the bottom right one. Um, if we move up to the next tier, right in the middle, you have intensity. You're going to fill that out 5 out of 5. And then uh, right above intensity, you have searing heat on the third tier. You want to do 5 out of 5. And that should conclude all 76 points spent. So, assuming you've paused the video now and gotten the spec, we will move on to macros. Yes, okay. There are four macros in this build, but one of them uh, you're not going to be using a lot at all. So, uh, as if you haven't seen my previous videos, you do not have to pause the video and get these down. All you do is uh, go into the description where I've posted these, highlight the macro that you'd like, control C's and cat, go in game, find an empty macro slot as like this, click in the box right here so it's ready to type, so you can type and you just want to hit control V and there you go it is copy and pasted it all you do is click save if you name it this would be like the CD one for an example name it there it is got your nice little macro now for the actual macros you have a CD macro AOE heal touch to light and spot heal so for the CD macro you just have basically two CDs and a healing implication in there uh, you know what a CD is, it's a cooldown, you usually use it on somebody that took a good hit. Um, as far as that goes, that's about it for that one. Um, AoE heal, you have an insta-cast AoE, which is nice, and then you have a stand there and cast, I think it's a two second cast AoE heal. I don't recommend slamming on this for a reason that I will tell you when we get to buffs um, later in this video. Uh, the next one is touch the light. It is touch light basically is a spell it's a combat buff that you can combine with anything uh, but basically it makes your next cast instant and takes 50% less mana so we just tied that together with one of our bigger heals therefore all you do is double hit that on whoever dipped or got smacked pretty good and it will bring them back to full which is pretty nice uh, you have your last macro which is a spot heal I added the mouse over UI in there for you guys that might be new to healing because it's a lot easier. Mouse over UI basically, you just hover over their nameplate and hit the macro. As long as your cursor is hovering over their name, it will it will uh, cast a spell on them. Like as you can see, my character is not highlighted. I highlight over her and she lights up, which means that she's targeted. I just don't have her directly clicked as like that. But that is it for the macros, guys. Um, get those all set up and laid out on your bar and we'll talk rotation or no we'll talk buffs now um, so for let's click all these off for the buffs we have faith's reward I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on every one of them you can read them I recommend reading them and kinda testing them out before you go running into a five man or raid but uh, faith's reward basically is just uh, every time you heal somebody or put in a bubble on them that if they're under 50% health it's going to send them a heal so it's pretty nice um, heroic resolve just some endurance bonus that's just hit points 
you don't know what Endurance does. Um, your next one is Healer's Blessing. It causes any single target heal or absorption spell that you put on somebody to do another little small heal on the side that's triggered. It's kind of nice. Um, now you have Marked by the Light. This causes any healing spells that you... Uh, for an example, let's say I'm the tank. I have two melee DPS next to me. When my healer heals me as the tank, it's going to heal those two melee DPS next to me also. That is what this buff does, Marked by the Light. Very, very helpful. This is the reason I said not to sit here, and after you use your AoE, to sit here and cast this. Because this does less healing than you sitting there spamming your tank, keeping him alive, and just spreading the heals to the two people. It's a smart heal, so say one of those DPS is at full health now, and you have a caster that's sitting back there, it's now going to heal the one melee DPS and the caster that are not at full. So it's a very nice thing Tryon had added into the game. Um, that said, the next buff that you're going to be using is Wisdom of Ages. This just adds Wisdom. Um, wisdom is spell power and mana as a cleric standpoint. Um, so that's pretty good for us. Uh, next one is Sign of Wrath. This is nice because when you heal somebody or put an absorption spell on them, you got a nice little buff that's up here. It lasts for, I think, 3 seconds. Uh, no, it's 15, my bad. And... Whenever an attacker does damage to them, that bubble triggers and does damage back to them, which is nice. And it also counts on your DPS meter if uh, you're looking to be an uber healer doing damage and healing. Um, in that case, uh, the next spell is Light of Redemption. Now, this is a link. So if you don't know what a link is, uh, I advise like, looking into the defiler, but if you haven't seen the defiler yet either, a link basically is exactly what it sounds like. It links you and another person together with this buff. So you'll see up here, I'll get two of them, because I'm not linked. Now, you typically want to link yourself, which is clicking on the tank and clicking this spell, and uh, it will put a link on them, which basically every time you cast Invocation, which is what we'll go over in the rotation, it heals you and the other person you have linked, which is primarily your tank. So as you're sitting there healing, let's say, the none of the DPS that got cleaved, and not even next to you or the tank, it's healing the tank and you just because you're linked and you're casting that spell. Very, very helpful. Um, I know that's confusing. You can contact me if you have any other questions. I'll explain how to contact me at the end of this video. Um, and then the last one is Wrathful Embrace. This basically, uh, whenever you, let's say, heal the tank and he's targeting the boss, 75% of that heal will convert to damage also and do some damage to whoever he has targeted which is pretty nice so you're doing a little bit of damage uh, as you're healing but uh, that's about it for the buffs so we'll make sure we get all those on um, yeah this one also you can only put on an ally you cannot put this on yourself but okay for rotation there's not really set rotation it's kind of like it's just a healing spec, but uh, what you're primarily going to be doing, so if we're just walking around out here and the tank pulls a mob, you're just going to sit there and heal, heal him with healing invocation. It's just a nice cast. It does some heals. Uh, it keeps the tank up very nicely. But uh, let's say he dipped a little bit, like he grabbed two mobs by an accident. He's taken a little bit of damage. You're going to use... Crucial Invocation, which is a faster cast. It also eats a chunk of your mana, but it gets the job done. Now, every once in a while, you get this proc healing breath. Make sure you use that. It's going to be very helpful. It's just something that... It's like the equivalent of a healing invocation, but instant. Very, very nice heal. Um, let's say, alongside when that tank got cleaved, two of the melee DPS did. You have your spot heal macro. All you do is you're going to hover over their name tag or click on them, however you like to do this, and then just send them a spot heal. And then click the next one, send them a spot heal. Or you can just sit there and keep healing your tank and let them die, that's up to you. <laughs> but uh, with that one, now another one is like, let's say you're in the 10 man and your whole group got hit. Um, You can use your instant cast AoE, and if necessary, I don't recommend it, you can sit there and cast healer communication and heal them all. But that's the four most uh, main spells 
that you will be using uh, on a regular basis. Now for the other two macros that I had you grab the touch the light and the CD macro. Touch the light basically is like um, Kank got hit for 10,000 and he's hovering at like 5-10%. Touch the light, boom, there you go. As you can see all those heals right there uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're from just hitting that key, so it's quite a bit of health. Um, yeah, about 15k. Yeah, 15k. So it's a uh, very helpful. Now, your uh, next one, which is a CD one. This is just okay. He's getting smacked around a little bit. Just keep hitting that. Boom! You get all these nice buffs that are gonna help you cast faster. Your next casts are going to be a little more stronger. Uh, and basically, yeah, it's the next five casts are going to boost this health quick. But uh, now for just a couple other little spells that I recommend having on your bar are uh, Vigilance, which is just, it's more of a planned heal. So if you know that there's a mechanic in the fight and he's going to hit the tank pretty hard, just put Vigilance on him real quick. The tank goes under 20% health, it's going to give him 5,000 stock that's not with your spell power so add the spell power to it and that's how much health he gets um, another spell is empowering light this is an AOE cleanse so let's say the whole group gets a, a nasty dot you just click that and it will remove it from all of them or up to 10 players uh, another necessity that you should have on your bar at all times that is hot keyed as well is fullness of life it's basically just a full heal equivalent to your health so if, let's say I have 20k like I do uh, I click the tank and I hit this button it's going to heal him for 20,000 health on top of those two uh, buffs that you get so it's very nice um, I just have urgency on there which makes you run a little faster to get out of stuff if there's a wall coming at you or you just need to get out of the way it's very helpful um, but that's about it guys um, I know it's confusing, I'm sorry, it's that's typically how it is with something complex heal spec like this. But uh give it time. It show it normally shows improvements very fast, uh once you get all the timing down. It's very laid back. You actually might find it a little tiresome because it's so easy. But uh yeah. If you guys have any questions, you can go in game uh on Shatterbone and send me mail. My name is CJS at Shatterbone and you can just send me some mail and I'll get back to you within 24 hours or if you're really in a rush and I'm online you can slash tell space cjs at Shatterbone and then you just hit the space bar again and it will send me a tail across shards very very nice um, or you can post a question in the comment box below and I will get back to it within 48 hours um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.